For fire and safety reasons, we need to remove the opening in the door. We have a void extrusion in our door that we placed previously just here. So that needs to be removed so that we have a solid door again for obvious reasons. It's a fire door. It needs to be fireproof to a certain period of time, such as two or three hours, for example. That is removed there. That's great. But what we need to check is our view. So we go and check our 3D view down here in the project browser. It's gone in there. We also go and look in the exterior view. Now you'll notice there are actually some reference planes that need to be removed. So we'll remove those as well. And also these two horizontal ones, like so, they need to go. So everything there looks neat and tidy on the exterior view. Go to the interior view. That all looks neat and tidy as well, with fire exit looking nice and neat on the interior view. Left and right shouldn't be a problem. That's all okay there. And right is good as well. So that's all good. Everything's in place and where it needs to be. So let's go back up now to our floor plan reference level. And what we'll do now is we'll save that. And we'll also do a save as a family as well and make sure we save it to our projects folder because it's going to be an in-place family in this project. So I'll save that there. So all those changes have been made. Now we can load that into our Revit project that we've got behind. And as you can see, we've got the little no entry symbol. And if you read the status bar, click on wall to place door, space bar to flip the instance left and right. I'm going to zoom right in on this bottom section here on the Revit project. And I'm deliberately going to place the door the wrong way around. So it's just there like so. So there's our door. It's gone nice and neatly into that wall there. I'll just hit escape a couple of times. You can see the fire exit writing there as well. But that's the exterior wall and we've got the fire exit, the interior, the wrong way around. So what we need to do is go to our entry level plan here. And if we zoom in now, look, you can see the door swing is the wrong way. Can you see that there? And you can just see the text. Look, can you just see that line there? That's the text on the actual door itself. So I need to click there and I need to flip that round this way like that. It places it the right way. And I then hit escape. If I go back to my 3D view now, you'll see now the door fits properly. And if I hover, look, can you see the text just highlighting in blue there on the back of the door? So that's where it needs to be. So what we've got now is a door in our project. It's an in-place family. So if I scroll down the project browser now and look in doors, there it is there. Training doors, single example. Now that particular Revit family is in your working files. So you can use it, update it, change some of the settings and see what you can do with Revit families when you bring them into your Revit structure projects.